Good evening. It's uh, still November the 23rd, and I'm inside First Baptist Church with Regina. I just finished my portion of the choir rehearsal, so I'm uh, helping them out with their Christmas concert. This is the church here. You can hear the choir carrying on without me up there. I'm just going to walk home from here after walking here for the first part of this. I seemed to have had it locked there, which I didn't like. Okay, it was about a 10 minute mark here, so I suspect it'll be about a 10 minute mark home. Ooh. So I'm on to Victoria Avenue again. Victoria Park over there, downtown. Just as lit up as it was before. As long as I don't fall down, we'll be, we'll be doing good here. So I'm just retracing my steps because I want to walk along Victoria here because the lights make it the most interesting place to walk. Let's look at the Avery Tower there. There's the usually called the Twin Towers, but there's actually three of them now. Canada Life Building over there. This is the Land Titles Building. Also home to the Saskatchewan Sports Hall of Fame. and the Administration Center for Sport, Culture, and Recreation. And we get the Hotel Saskatchewan. Look at downtown there. This is Cornwall Street. So that's our sad excuse for Christmas lights in this town. Hotel Saskatchewan is nicely lit up. And again, I think the iPhone 15 is doing a bang up job of the nighttime uh, video, from what I can tell. Up there is the lounge where I often have lunch and might tomorrow, in fact. Saskatchewan. Inside. It is 10 after 8. That clock is actually accurate. There, there's the uh, SAS Power Building behind that. Scar Street over there. There's a pub there, O'Hanlon's. It's quite popular. Also a popular music venue. That's where those lights are kind of strung along there. And the Copper Kettle, which is a restaurant. See, the fountain is not fountaining, but it is lit. This entrance to the hotel. I will cross over, actually. Just to get a look down the colonnade here, the front of the SAS Power Building, which is also lit up at night, like most things are. And that's Avery Tower over there in the coffee shop I often rude awakening down there at the bottom of that. And you can see the, uh, the pillars here, which are shaped like bones in honor of uh, fossil fuels. <laughs> and we will leave the bright lights behind. Because I'm going back to our condo, which is just up the street here. Currently staying there while my wife recovers from some minor foot surgery. Why does this thing keep jerking around? Feeling something has not is not right on it, that's for sure. Let's see if that helps. It has a, a sliding thing which can get out of alignment. And I sometimes think when I, I get those, I can feel it. It's like a the gimbal is obviously trying to adjust something and not happy with what signals it's getting. 
Also, as I said, this is a brand new phone. It's possible that I need to uh, recalibrate everything for it. Because I don't know what that looks like on the screen, but I can certainly feel that. I mean, I was shaking it then, but anyway, it is what it is. Maybe if I hold it up more upright, maybe it's because I let it slant down a bit. Would that be confusing it? That might be it. If I keep it at a more upright position, actually that does seem to feel better. So maybe, maybe that's part of it. If I slant it down, it keeps trying to level out or something. There's actually a crosswalk here, which I will turn on because it's dark and I don't want to get run over. Right? One of these old solar powered cross lights. Not particularly noticeable, but better than nothing. Apartment building over there. Take a look inside. 101 Scrat Street, not much to see. I almost walked into a parking meter while showing you that. Look up, look way up. There's the moon shining over everything, as the moon tends to do on Earth. Back a couple of times I did Globe Theater, I, we were living at the condo, both of those think yes so I'd be walking home along here after the show usually much later than this though the shows are typically more like 11 by the time I'd be heading home take a look inside 2151 not much to see in there either Next, Central Park. Well lit parking lot there for security reasons. This is downtown. More likely to get break ins and stuff. Although no part of the city is immune. Looking inside 2161. I know we had somebody under our uh, carport. They'd actually unscrewed the light to make it dark under there, which is, you know, more than a little suspicious. They didn't seem to do anything except they put somebody else's uh, food waste bin in our, like tucked it away under our, in our carport and uh, it stuck like a, well, I don't know, it looked like a, uh, snowblower, lawnmower snowblower in it. So very weird that. It's a central park. See we still have a little snow. There hasn't been any fresh snow for a while and out in the country when I drove up to Saskatoon and back in the last few days you didn't really see any especially up around Saskatoon but down here we had enough that any place that's been shaded still has a little showing. And there is more coming, of course. It uh, will be white, completely white again, too soon. Soon enough. Too soon. Ooh. Central Park. We have a condo off of Central Park, which sounds really impressive until you find out it's in Regina, you know, to New York. That's the Prince Charles over there. I think they should rename it the King Charles now. But they haven't yet. That's an owl. Again, I don't have my proper little microphone, but the upside of that is you get more uh, of the ambient sound. There's the Prince Charles. It's one of those 
ones. You want to make sure they're actually going to stop at the stop sign. And this is our condo building. You can see the gazebo there. It's quite shaded here, so it's still completely white down at this end. And if you go straight up and across college, you're at the college building, appropriately enough. Ah. Just finishing, I'm afraid. This is my second of two short walks. I was uh, at a rehearsal, so I just walked down to First Baptist Church. I'm currently staying in our condo, which is in this building. Instead of at the house. So uh, most of my walks will be from here in the next little bit. So sorry, if you're just joining me, I am wrapping up, but that's it. Nighttime in Regina. And if you go back, you'll see some nice uh, pictures of uh, downtown. So thanks for walking with me, either live or watching the recording. And please subscribe if you don't. Bye for now.